Hi everybody, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, if you are interested to apply for this season's NPTEL course and if you want to get NPTEL certification, then you came to the correct video where I will be discussing with all of you the latest NPTEL guidelines for this year 2023. So these guidelines plays a very very important role for all of you in order to register the course, in order to register the exam and in order to get your smooth NPTEL certification. So my dear students, let us start this important guidelines video now so that you can learn each and everything properly and these guidelines you need to follow during the entire process of NPTEL course as well as exam registrations. So, let us discuss now point number one. The first guideline, there are four weeks, eight weeks, set one and set two courses. So this is the first point. NPTEL has divided the courses into two categories, set one and set two. Okay. And in this set one, we are having four weeks and eight weeks courses. Similarly, in set two, we are having four weeks and eight weeks courses. And there is a specialized courses that is 12 weeks courses also available. So which is having a duration of three months. Now, all of you should know one important thing. Many of you don't know the difference between the set one and set two courses. Dear students, my dear NPTEL aspirants, the main difference lies between the start and end of the courses time. So the main difference lies between when the courses are going to start and when the courses are going to end. Set one courses, they will begin one month earlier, whereas set two courses, they will begin one month late. So this is the basic difference that you people should understand. Okay, the what is the main difference between set one and set two courses? Set one courses, they will begin one month earlier. Set two courses, they will begin a month late, approximately, approximately a month late after set one. And as usual, there will be a 12 weeks course. So first of all, you need to decide depending on your availability of time, which courses you are, you are going to follow, which courses is suited depending on your requirement. Okay. And the second thing, enrollment to courses is free so my dear aspirants of nptl you should know that nptl does not charge you a single rupee if you want to register for the course freely you can register for the nptl course there is no fee if you want to learn some course in nptl point number three guideline number three enrollment to courses and exam registration can be done in online mode only okay you can find the link here which means if you want to enroll, if you want to register for the NPTEL course and if you want to register for the exam, then you need to do this in online only. There is no way that you need to post any type of documents to NPTEL. Nothing will be there. No hard copy work in NPTEL. Everything should be done in online mode only. This is guideline number three. Next to point, one may enroll in as many courses as they like. So this is very, very important point. Sir, some students will have this doubt. Sir, how many courses can I register in NPTEL, sir? Is there any limit? The answer is there is no limit. You can enroll as many courses as possible depending on your availability of time. Again, I am saying depending on your availability of time, how much you can manage based on that you register for the NPTEL courses. But there is no limit from NPTEL. Next to point. NPTEL recommends the use of same email ID while enrolling in multiple courses. This is very, very, very important point and most of you will miss this one. So always it is advisable that use the same email ID because if you want to register the course in NPTEL, you need to have an email ID. So NPTEL says that use only one email ID no matter how many courses you are registering. Okay. that. So let us say if one candidate has to want to register three courses, then you need to use the same email ID which you have used for first course, which you have used for second, which you have used for third. It should be common. You can't use one email e for every course different email IDs. Otherwise, it will be a problem to you. Okay. Next thing. Candidates should use the same email ID throughout the course run for enrolling to course and for registering for the exam. So from registering of course, to the exam registration you need to have the same email id with you so let us say some students what they will do they will register they will register the course they will enroll the course with one email id and at the time of exam registration they want to use different email id then at that time there will be a problem you can't do like this okay you need to use same email id 
Next point, assignments, assignments submitted using any other email ID will not be taken into consideration towards final consolidated score and certification. This is as usual as if you use different different email IDs for different purposes in NPTEL then NPTEL I will not consider even your assignments also and your final score will not be calculated and you will not get any certification. This is clear and clear point from NPTEL. So NPTEL is recommending all of you to use the same email ID for course registration, for exam registration and even for a submission of assignments. Next thing, the responsibility of the email ID being valid till the course run is over lies with the candidates. So my dear students, let us say you have registered for the course, even you have registered for the NPTEL exam. During the tenure, let us say you have forgot your password. There is some problem with your email ID or your email has been, your email ID has been blocked. Then NPTEL will not take that responsibility. So for this reason, you need to keep your email ID as well as your password very secure so that you can complete your NPTEL course without any problem. And this is also very very important guideline by NPTEL. One may write up to a maximum of six exams. So my dear students, we know that second point is here. Enrollment to courses is free. Okay. And you can see the fourth point. One may enroll in as many courses as they like. But point number nine here limit is there. One may write up to a maximum of six exams. No matter how many courses you can register, let us say one student has registered 10 NPTEL courses, but the student cannot able to write all the 10 exams for the, all the 10 subjects, for all the 10 courses. How many a student can write? A student can write only six exams. This is a clear restriction by NPTEL. You know what is the reason behind this? The logic is NPTEL conducts the exams only on three days every semester every season and in three days morning and afternoon sessions total three into two means six days six exams only maximum you can write six exams okay you can see here next point number 10 two exams on each day so you can write maximum two exams on each day how many days three days so three into two six exams you can write now this is the time Exams can be written in either or both shifts 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. or 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. on all allotted exam dates. So on the allotted exam date, this is the time duration 9 to 12 and 2 to 5. So forenoon session and afternoon session, you can write the exam. Total how many days maximum? Three days, so which means six exams. And the last point is NPTEL will be publishing only e-certificates. So once you have passed the NPTEL exams with the valid score, then you will be getting the e-certificate only. You will not be getting any hard copy to the through, your, through, through the post. This is very important point. So through your registered email ID only, NPTEL will send the link from where you can download your e-certificate. So you can convert later this e-certificate into a hard copy. So my dear students, these are the 12 very very important points before you are going to register for the NPTEL course you need to have you need to understand these 12 points then you are on the right track to register for the NPTEL courses so any types of queries you can simply put it in the comment section so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care Allah Hafiz